data is one of the most important assets that an organization has, but data is only useful if you can make use of that data. And one of the key ways that organizations can make better use and add value to their data is through data warehousing. But what exactly is a data warehouse? That's what I wanna talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting, and we're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And one of the key components of digital transformation nowadays is the use of data. And we've always had data within our organizations. We've always had system that collects data and tracked data and even reported on data. But now more than ever, we have so much data we've accumulated as organizations that we need to figure out ways to get value and use out of that data with emerging technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, great new technologies like that can only work if we've got good data and we can actually make use of that data. So what I wanna to do today is talk about data warehousing as well as data lakes, which is a very similar but slightly different concept. And I'm gonna talk about data warehousing and data lakes and what it means to your organization and how it might impact your digital transformation. Now to start, it helps to understand what a data warehouse is and what a data lake is. I'll start by saying the data lake is a newer concept. Data warehousing has been around for a longer period. So I'll start with data warehousing. A data warehouse is a software that allows you to take structured data from one or more systems and store it in an organized fashion in a way that you could report and slice and dice that data in a way to add meaning and more value to the data. So for example, if you're using multiple systems, say an enterprise resource planning system and a CRM system, supply chain management system, you've got multiple systems throughout your organization, a data warehouse is a place that you can take that data from those core operational systems, store it in the data warehouse, and then figure out how to manipulate that data and make use of that data. Now a data warehouse, as I mentioned, is focused on structured data. A data lake can handle structured data, but it's more suitable for unstructured data. So an example of structured data that would be more useful for a data warehouse would be something like a financial transaction with a very clear numeric value behind it, or a customer order with a clear line item for what that customer is ordering. Unstructured data, on the other hand, which is where a data lake comes in, and an example of unstructured data would be something like a customer complaint about the quality of your product. You might receive a return along with a customer complaint and it might be a qualitative description of what was wrong with that product. So it's not a numeric predefined data set. It's something that's unstructured, it's free form text. So that's probably the best example of what unstructured data might look like. And that's what a data lake is used for. And data lakes will capture this unstructured information. And this is where data science really comes into play because now you need to apply some higher caliber data science sort of analytics to the data to find meaning and patterns within that data set. Now, the beauty of this unstructured data is that in years past, we couldn't do a lot with that unstructured data. It wasn't something that we could quantify or create a summary of in an easy way. But now with artificial intelligence and machine learning, we have tools that can allow us to look for patterns in that unstructured data. And data scientists can now make meaning of or find meaning in the unstructured data that's in a data lake. So those are the two differences between data warehouses and data lakes. But if we summarize both buckets, data warehousing and data lakes, it's essentially a third party software or a place to store the data from other systems so that you can make use of that data and analyze the data in a more meaningful way. So there are a number of benefits to deploying a data warehouse and or a data lake. First and foremost, it allows you to collect and integrate data across multiple systems. So again, if you're operating in a siloed or a best of breed or a multiple system environment, a data lake or data warehouse is a way to collect and gather that data in one place where you can start to analyze and make sense of all those different data points. The other advantage of these data tool sets is that it allows you to get a lot of value out of data and processes and systems that you already have in place without a huge investment in time, cost, and risk. So in other words, rather than having to replace your entire operational technology stack, you can use a data lake or a data warehouse or both 
to make better use of and deliver more of a ROI from those multiple systems. And typically deploying a data lake or a data warehouse is going to be a lot cheaper, a lot less time consuming, and a lot less risky than ripping out and replacing your core operational systems. So it can be a great way to deliver more immediate ROI at a lower risk and a lower cost. And then finally, as I mentioned before, it's not just about storing data and integrating data. Data warehouses and data lakes provide a staging for you to provide better business intelligence, predictive analytics, leveraging artificial intelligence, and using these more advanced technologies to really make use of and gain deeper insights into the data in ways that core technologies typically and historically have not been able to. So these are a few reasons why organizations are so keen on deploying data lakes and data warehouses is because they're integrated, they deliver more immediate business value, and it allows you to do more with the data, which in today's day and age, data is becoming a core competitive advantage and a really important asset to organizations. And data lakes and data warehouses are tools that enable you to deliver on that value proposition. Now, while there is a clear beneficial upside to deploying a data warehouse or a data lake within your organization, there's also some downside. First and foremost, it requires a certain amount of sophistication when it comes to data science and technology in general. You have to know how to get the data from multiple systems. You have to know how to analyze the data. You have to know how to report on that data. And that's not something that's typically done by your average end user. It's something that requires a higher caliber skill set, either in terms of a data scientist and or a technologist sort of person or a system architect or someone that can figure out how to tie together multiple sets of data. The other downside or potential risk of data lakes and data warehouses is as powerful as they are, they're only as good as the data that's actually stored in those tools. So in other words, if your data is corrupt at the operational level, let's just say you have a financial and accounting system that hasn't been maintained or preserved very well, or a customer master list that isn't very well maintained, and you try to take that data from those systems and make use of it and make meaning of it in a data lake or data warehouse, that's not gonna get you very far because the core root of the data is corrupt. So it's really important in order to get the full value out of data lakes and warehouses to ensure that you have good data and that you have good operational technology supporting the data that feeds into the data lake or data warehouse. And then finally, another downside risk of data lakes and data warehouses is that if you are deploying it as a sort of a band-aid to solve a longer term problem, which may be that your core operational systems need to be replaced, it may serve your purposes in the short term, but longer term, a data warehouse or data lake is not going to fix the fact that your core operational systems are broken or outdated or obsolete. So you just wanna be aware of the fact that just because you can deploy data lakes and data warehouses at lower cost, lower risk, higher ROI, eventually you may need to still revisit your core operational systems that are feeding into those data tool sets. Now, there are a number of tools out there that can provide data lakes and data warehouses. Certainly, some of the big ERP software vendors like Oracle and SAP and Microsoft have their own versions of a data warehouse or data lake or their own equivalent of one of those tools. But there's also third-party standalone systems that provide that same capability as well. One example in an emerging up-and-coming example is Snowflake. That's a pretty popular data lake and data warehousing tool that's used agnostically across different types of technologies to consolidate that data into one place. But Snowflake's not the only one. There's a lot of other systems out there that provide that same capability, particularly as it relates to data warehouses and data lakes. Now, for more information about how to transform your organization and to automate and to embark on a digital transformation, I encourage you to download our Digital Transformation Report, which is an annual report we publish each year that provides a number of best practices and lessons learned for digital transformations, as well as independent software agnostic technology reviews of different systems out there in the marketplace. So I encourage you to check that out for more information. I hope you found this information useful and I hope you have a great day. That's what I want to talk about. Uh, don't like that. Oh, sorry. That, I thought it sounded good. I just felt like that and I didn't like the inflection of ah. data warehousing. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent, oh, wow. 
after all that, I felt like it was the same <laughs> inflection, <laughs> but yet it wasn't as smooth in the, the words. But. Oh, man. So there are a number of benefits to deploying a did it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, why do I just randomly start laughing? Yeah. I don't know why. I did. You're clear. Clear. So as I can remember the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> waiting for the pause. Yep, there it is. Okay. Sorry, I've got I just got to, I just have to get it out. It's like it's, it's like a sneeze. I just have to like get it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're good.